you know, I sat through all six of these goddamn movies, all six of them, easily, the fourth one is my favorite one, second would be third, that's it. Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, fucking sucks. Cock. Massive cock. Cocktitude of a fucking porn star cock. This movie sucks. And I am pissed off that I sat through it again for the fourth fucking time. Why? Because I fell asleep on it the first three times. And today was the day I had to finish this movie. And by God, I said I was going to fucking do it. And I survived this bullshit. Plot, as if any of y'all gives a fuck, is a family moves into this house. Of course, it's the year 2013. And the, the, the two brothers of the house find these videos that goes back to the first four five movies that we wait no four movies that we seen I forgot they don't count uh, the mark ones thank you okay because that movie sucked more than you so to speak so to speak but yeah so the plot is once they find these tapes they soon discover that the evil entity wants their daughter why because they think that the evil entity wants their daughter to turn a spirit into a boy. The boy's name is Toby because uh, is her name Layla or something like that? Leah? Whatever. Is born on the same day as Hunter, the boy from the last movie that Katie actually abducted pretty much. And since they're born on the same day they think they can use those two to make this whole another entity into a person. Gee, that sounds even stupider. But you want to know what even worse was even worse about that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that it took the last 20 minutes to find this out. An hour and 10 minutes into this fucking movie is when we find this out. Is when one of the fucking characters in this movie finally explains that part. It takes 30 minutes to get to night one. I'm not bullshitting you. Night one. The very beginning of the movie takes place half an hour later. <coughs> so for the half of that time, we're sitting there watching these two idiot brothers and their fucking families walk around, pulling the camera, getting scared at nothing. Until finally the little fucking tar monster kind of shows up. I'll call it a tar monster because that's what the fuck it looks like. Comes up from behind underneath the girl's bed. 34 minutes into this movie. And then usually follows people around on the ceiling and shit. I'm not going to waste too much time on this movie. Acting in this movie sucks. Some of the effects kind of suck. Okay, it's boring. This movie is probably the most boring I've ever sat through since the first and second one combined. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, and it's only 97 minutes, man. Matter of fact, I think this might be the longest one because I think the first and second were 80 something minutes. And they still bored the ever loving fuck out of me. This movie took me four times to watch. Four. For God's sakes, let this be the last movie. Let this be the last fucking movie. Hell, I'm going to even use the tagline from the fucking Amityville Horror, the original. For God's sakes, get the fuck out of the house. They finally do, but guess when it happens? Oh, I don't know, maybe about an hour and 15 minutes into the movie. 
forget exorcisms, forget about trying to bless the house, that shit doesn't work in the Paranormal Activity movie. All you're gonna do is get the priest killed, oops, spoiler alert, I don't give a fuck, this movie needs to be fucking spoiled, because this movie doesn't even need the, doesn't even need the attention of your fucking eyes, man. I don't need these. You guys do not need to give the movie these. Bullshit. Just more and more bullshit. This is supposed to be the final movie in the franchise. Thank God. Because it's obviously you fucking run out of ideas to basically just pull a specter and combine all the first four movies into this one event. Basically using the other tagline from Furious 6 or 7, all roads lead to this. This is the best y'all got. Y'all kind of ripped off the intro to the thing a little bit when the girl's waking up in her bed and her fucking wall behind her is literally turning into the intro of the fucking thing where the little lights are trying to shine through. And then the next time you see it, there's a fucking hole in the wall leading to the next dimension, which in reality is the, is the, the, tw the two girls' rooms from the last movie with the fish tank. Why did these movies? Why did these movies keep going? Why in the fuck do these movies keep on fucking going? This movie fucking gets on my ever-loving last fucking nerve, man. I'm not bullshitting you. Fuck this movie. These movies just are just exist to fucking have me rant and rave, which is probably what y'all enjoy about them. So enjoy. <laughs> but uh, you guys think this is a rant? Oh no. Oh fuck no. Wait till you see me rant. About Jim. <laughs> and the fucking holograms. Oh joy. Paranormal activity. The ghost. The fucking mention is going to get a fuck you. F plus. Kiss my ass. Don't make any more of Paramount for the love of baby Jesus. Do not make any more of these damn fucking movies. I can't sit through another one of these. Especially if they're not funny. Okay? Especially if they're not fucking funny. Let me know. What you guys think about the ghost dimension down below? Did you like it? I don't know why. Or did you hate it? Which is probably going to be the majority of you. Catch you guys.